How was that? Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Badly needed. In fairness, Jay. He looks a stone lighter as well, doesn't he? I, after that? I feel, I feel too stone lighter. <laughs> we always forget to say it to our guests, Luke. Do you know what I mean? We can pause and you can fucking have a piss or whatever, but... Um, you look so happy there, now, oh, oh man, I was literally like this, better not ask me any serious and questions because I'm not going to be able to answer <laughs> So come here, we were talking about the wee hike page and right. you were a bit disheartened by the numbers last week, but yeah. like that, you have to remember, a lot of people were suffering through COVID. So oh, the yeah. fact that you're still getting, like 11 is a decent number. See, that's the thing, and like, it, like I don't say that That's more them. viewers than we had the lawyers <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. I don't say that to them because like at the end of the day I'm, I'm completely aware. I am completely yeah. aware that there's other things out there and like I'm, no one, everyone's not going to just fucking drop something every week just mm. from my bleeding hikes. Do you know well, what I mean? What do you have? Like a WhatsApp or what? What yeah, ways of work? I have a WhatsApp, like? yeah, yeah. It's a WhatsApp then, group. I have a, we have a WhatsApp group for anyone who uh, anyone who comes on them then I'll add them in once around the first hike. Right. And then obviously with the pays then I'll just throw up the location and the time and where I'm meeting every week. Everyone you know? free mm. to go. So mm. anyone interested in, in going on a hike make sure to give Dylan um, a show because Jay, we've been a bit more active and you do feel a lot better just doing a few bits. Like, I went down to Blessing at the weekend and my fucking Christ, what a day I had. Yeah. I went out on a date with me mate and it was one of the best days I had out in a long time. That the, mate day. Overlooking the lake, having a drink, we had food, we went on a whopper hike, it was on, what the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> you just set it up so broke back mountain is shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very nice. Finish, Look, if, 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 he, a kiss. if yeah. he put out at this stage, I probably would have took it for fuck's sake. <laughs> nah, you Save me from spending 80 quid in the bras, I want it. <laughs> By the way, what's your bank looking like these days? Me you, which? Are you still spending them 80 quid? I'm what? Them, them sheets. <laughs> Trip around the corner. I guess you'll never know, Jay. Yeah, I yeah. guess you'll never know. Show me them bank statements. <laughs> <laughs> does she take Revolut? Does she? Because of COVID, she take whatever she's given, <laughs> including the dick. Um, she'll take what she's given, yeah. But now, Dylan, fair play to you. Honestly, like I'd say, it's it, it's great when you have people showing up and they're telling your stories. I know you're saying people don't talk, but. They don't. They nearly don't need to talk. Just showing up is know. is part of it, isn't the it? Like you know, you're doing time. something. First time I was traumatized. I'm not even less. We met up in the car park, and this was the this is the first time I bleeding done it. And like I said, I was off social media for ages. Yeah. And then when I went, so it'd be a bit socially awkward, like fucking, but not with like a handful of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But with 39 strangers, and especially when you're the face of a leak. Do you know what I mean? This is what I was worried about. I was worried at the start that no one knew each other, right. but everyone would kind of, in a way, think they know me. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah. they follow you. Yeah. yeah of so I was like, everyone's gonna. If they're going to talk to someone, they're it's going to be fucking you, me, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I remember I pulled up in the car with my mate and uh, I was looking in the car park and I was like, oh, you must be the first here. But then I realised every car in the car park was full. Mm. And I was like, oh, fuck, all of these are here for this hike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I got out of a hike. Did I you have like, to give a speech like, hello, everybody, you know let's what? get blocked tonight. <laughs> I was, You know what? I was going to say something. But then when I got out of the car, I was like, I am me bollocks saying anything to anyone. So I walked up and just introduced myself to like every car. Like a weirdo, man, knocking on the fucking door. Oh, no. I swear to God, look, like I can look, imagine. Look, I'm sweating even thinking about look that. Look, I was out dogging. I was just knocking on every fucking window. Yeah, and he changed, <laughs> bud. I've had that experience. It's not pleasant. No. <laughs> but yeah, I just introduced myself to everyone. But I got back into the car then to meet mate, and I was like, yeah, do you want to just fucking go? <laughs> I, was like, we just, I was like, we just leave it. We leg it. We just fucking go. We get filled and we go home. <laughs> but uh, no, we stuck it out. And there's a fella that comes with us, Wally. And I, I only knew Wally like two or three days before I even went on the hike. And this fella is just, uh, he's gone. Right. He's just gone. But you like you could drop this man blindfolded into any woods in the country and he'd know where he is because of the smell of the air. Yeah. He's just one of them sort of people. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. without without him we're well, fucked. Like he he guides us through everything. Right. So I don't know what I'm doing, I just yeah. have to pay. So you're building a little team over time, I'm assuming. Like you'll probably get that person that's sociable that'll do all the talking for you, you know. Oh no, I'm, I'm fine now. Like yeah. I'll, do, I'll do all the talking now. It was just it was the first time I was just fucking terrified. But once yeah. you started hiking then I was grand and now they can't shut me up. You but have your regulars, sorry. No, you're okay. Yeah. You have your regulars. Garrett's one of them, yeah. yeah. Garrett's one of them. He's there every week. Yeah, no, there is there's there's people that are there consistently every single week, and that's not to say anything about people that don't want to Every, everyone has a life yeah. but there, like, there's people there's people that get on to me and their weeks if they miss one their week following isn't the same yeah mm -hmm. like they just don't feel it's routine feel at same. this point like yeah that's it and <laughs> yeah, you, you, just, you just feel fresh you really do mm. I, I, I'm not I'm not an, like I wouldn't be an active person really to be honest with you but there's just something about there's something about the hikes yeah no well, Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just going to elaborate on that saying, yeah, no, we understand, so go mm -hmm. ahead, yeah. Jay. What was it about the hike specifically that made you go with that rather than a swim, a cycle, a gym, a fuck anything? That was, I, I was going to actually lead into that yeah. and say, are you going to broaden the horizons? 
you know what it was, right? Uh, you had to limit yourself a little bit with the name, didn't you? Like, or did you? Fuck, fuck we do change. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, we no, we just change. We change the hike to anything. It's we whatever. Yeah. We whatever we fucking want. Yeah, do you know what I mean. That's what you should call it. We whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's probably <laughs> fucking taken. Every name is taken on Instagram. It's a nightmare. But. Uh, I started off with the hike because when I, when I was younger, right, I was a fucking, I was a bleeding weirdo. So anytime we were out on sessions or anything like that, or drinking in the fucking fino, when we were like fourteen or fifteen, all the lads would be around the fire, or just drinking or whatever. And I'd always be the weird one that'd be like wanting to walk through the trees, and I'd yeah, love yeah. the woods, love the mountains. Bit of a in it, like. yeah. And then what I was, I was before I even set the page up, I did want to do something to get people out. Mm. And then I was trying to think, I was like, what do I love? What what made me feel good when I was a kid? What was an escape for me when I was a yeah. kid? And I was just, it was something about. Walking in nature and walking in the mountains. Like, mm-hmm. look, don't get me wrong. Love swimming, love cycling. You'd never catch me running, so fuck that. Yeah. But like cycling and swimming, love Jay that. Jade beat in a race anyway. I'd say. No, I have no <laughs> doubt. No <laughs> doubt. You would. He'd beat the two of us. <laughs> That's how fucking <laughs> clearly bad we are at running. Ah, uh, you, you beat me and you beat me cycling. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> some some tension Stop there. Stop smiling over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Were you told with? No, he said he was there. Oh yeah, something. you were he there. He was yeah. there. We done a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? You, you have to share that now. No, I just I basically was. We actually never so mentioned it on the podcast. Jay Farrell is just a quitter. We'll just <laughs> you know, fucking ask me bollocks. Not a bit of drive no. in his body. Yeah, bring in that Dylan, next fucking I'm engineer, sure, will you? I, I'm sure you understand that sometimes mentally people can let things get to them more so than like physically. I knew Jay was capable. Good. Capable of it, mm. of, of of continuing the cycling. He's still convinced now that he wasn't. Right. But when we got to the top of this, I, I won't even mention the hill that we were going up. But when oh, we got yeah, to yeah. the no, don't don't fucking sugarcoat it and make it out like it was simple. Was it don't. a big hill? Was it? It don't. was simple, Jay. How many hills did we go up? <laughs> right. So we cycled. Right. First of all, I'll, I'll put it in context. Right. Go on. right. I hadn't cycled in years, and my ass was in a jock from the saddle. Right. First of all, mm. then we go do a workout with. Alan, mm. right, Alan Bourne. And then we have to cycle back from Memorial Park to here, right? So there was three decent hills, let's just say, yeah? I was bollocks after it, and I felt like my legs were burning out. Mm. Now, if in my head I felt I could cycle up that in one go without stopping, I would do that. Exactly, M- that's hold my on. point, in your my, head. My legs <laughs> is gave in. Quiet for a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, I'll... F- I'll, I'll smash the chair off just <laughs> gave in right Oi. burnt right mm-hmm. that was it I stopped I got a break and I went again and this fella said come on keep going you're a quitter you're a this you're a that I just took a break and I went again that right. was it this cunt makes out like I walked all the way home with the no no I don't you do you, took, you literally took I'd say a minute break you took it wasn't 30 seconds by the way it was about a minute break you took right which is still a very short break but my point is you ain't even making it up that forced hill if I didn't push you. Don't even say you were. What forced hill? The very forced hill up Chapel Lizards. You weren't making it up that if I didn't oh, push that's, that's you. That's deep one. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a very tough hill. So I, I barely but walk up that. He was, was cycle up, so don't worry about it. No, Thank you. He, look, I know it was tough. It was tough for me as well. He goes on as if I'm a professional cyclist because I have the shorts on the top. I went on three cycles since I got me week, right? Three cycles. Oh, do you wear all that lycra stuff? You've been on three cycles and you bought all the gear? <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I want to get into it. And L- like what you said. As well, like so. what you said, Dylan. When I was younger, I used to, like, my man got me a bleeding bike for Christmas. I used to cycle up the tallow when I was eight and all. Not a bother to me. Mm. Loved cycling. Mm. So I, I got it for that reason as well. And obviously, boy to walk can't take advantage of you, you know nice. what I mean? But um, he wouldn't He wouldn't have went up the force tail if I didn't push him. Oh, yeah. So I knew... Mentally, <laughs> he was talking some shit as well. He's like, "Your ex is with this, your ex is with that." And I was like, "I don't give a bollocks. Like, I'm good." But then, as I'm soon as fucked. I mentioned your daughter, oh yeah, he was like, "If that's you, if someone's going after your daughter up there, what would you do?" I was like, "Shut up." But he made it up the hill, so it was proof that was on his head. Yeah, and then he that done wasn't it. why I done it because my daughter I'm wasn't say- up the hill. I'm not saying. Listen. I pushed you. You wouldn't have gave it the effort you gave it if we didn't push it. 100%. You need that push. And the same with the second hill. You would have made it up it. I don't 100%. Know what, was the no, I didn't what was the second hill? What was the second hill? The, do you the know when you, you, know when you come down? down? Yeah, the fucking... Mm. You know when you're you cycling the from... the motorway and you turn left up to Town. Up to Town. Yeah, yeah. That hill. Right, all right. The puppy yeah. hill. That's why I didn't want to mention it because it's a bitch hill. You fucking stay out of it. He told me right. you take a break cycling down the ramp roads for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This anyway, is a shy we're, podcast. We're, we're, where were we going with this anyway? <laughs> oh yeah, about venturing into other things. Do you have any other plans on anything else? Or are you just going to strictly keep it to the weekend? Which is fine, like, do you know what I mean? Because you have your other pages that do other things out there as well. Like. I was about to say thanks for the reassurance. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, uh, we have camping coming up. Camping, we're deadly. Going camping. We're going, I, don't know, I think we're going down to Loch Hyen, I think it's called. Right, really deadly. So we're going down there on the 14th of August. Again, anyone's welcome to come on that if they want. Yeah. So we're going down, we're going to do... Uh, we're camping on the 13th, actually. We're going over, camping on the 14th, then doing a big hike down on the 14th. We're going fishing. You paying uh, for the tents? We'll talk about that <laughs> another time. <laughs> a little tent-to-work scheme. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so we're doing that. We're doing uh, night kayaking when we're down there. So yeah, there's a couple of little things that we're doing. That's that's a, that's a one off and now. We'll yeah. see, we'll see how it goes. And what's the story? Is this being sponsored or does everyone have to put their hand in their pocket? I'm just asking because yeah, I know no, people every, will be curious. So we know we know people like there's there's people that are in the group already that have loads of tents, people in the in the group that have uh, fishing equipment and all right. that already. So nearly all everyone's the stuff, just lending a hand for yeah, everything. That's yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, because this isn't the thing where we're like well, I'm not like we're not kinda charging people. I'm looking to set up a Revolut where everyone, including myself, can put in like a fiber or a And you can go somewhere or something. So we can have money there. So if we want to mm. go up and say do the, the stairway to heaven, mm. we can rent the bus rather than getting people driving. Cause yeah, I can, deadly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's just little small things like that. Very good. You know? yeah. um, what was I going to say? Regarding, um, regarding the walks and stuff and the page, what do you hope to achieve from it? What's the goal? That's the thing. It's, like, it's, it's, it's actually... Or are you achieving it now? That's actually that's probably a better way of saying it, yeah. Because I, I, I you ruined my second question. You looked bad all the he time. Just, that was over the cycle. He was bitter. No, no, yeah. Nah, I do this to him every week. I always get a gem of a question every time. Don't worry. <laughs> no, but I was it was coming next for me in a different way. I was still gonna ask it. <laughs> all right, continue. So yeah, it's just basically <laughs> it was like I, I set it up and there was no goals at all because I'm not I, I wasn't looking to set it up to get a big following. I wasn't looking to set it up to make it go all over the country. I wasn't setting up for anything like that. I was literally just setting it up so people who wanted to come out could come out and if they needed any sort of help, the help was there, whether it be through talking to someone that they got along with or just getting out into nature. So, so yeah, like as small of a goal as that might be, mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like I'm achieving it now, yeah. And I feel, it's not even, it's not even me. I, I, and I say this all the time. I set, I only set it up. Do you get me? Mm. It's, it's, it's everyone else that's achieving it. So it's everyone. You really don't like taking credit there. No, man, fuck, I really. We've really always seven man. there, forever if you want to. <laughs> That's <laughs> a stupid joke. Yeah, that was bad, That's wasn't it? It was pure dad bad. joke. Um, I laughed there just so you got. Yeah, yeah thanks. I knew it was you a pure have. pity joke. Um, I, huh? No, I'm not. I'm fuck you. I'm taking Come this on, question take, take right because I'm at the fucking up me joke. Um, <laughs> That's uh, that's something that um a lot of people are questioning me for. So when when I started this podcast, I'll be honest with you, it was it was for the selfish reason as well as trying to help other people, right? Mm. I felt better when I was talking. So it's like my like I said, I used to go counselling. It's like my counselling, like my therapy, like this conversation. Mm. If I wasn't having this up at home, probably in bed by myself, thinking shit, I shouldn't be thinking. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas this now allows me to do that. But my favourite thing from this podcast, people say, look, Jay, when are you going to start making money? When are you going to do this? I didn't start it for that. I started it for me, but now after doing it a couple of months, I just love meeting new people. Mm -hmm. The relationships that we are building yeah. from this podcast it's been the best is part about it. second to none. Like we're making friends for life, which I'll happily pay rent and happily pay for more of a equipment. It, long may this continue because yeah. it's it's more powerful and more rewarding than money will ever be. Yeah. So that's that was my question to you. Like the relationships that yeah you're, you're building from these weeks, like is it at that taking kind of you, the page and the idea to the next level for you? Hundred percent, because I wasn't expecting it. That was one of the biggest worries I had. And even before I say that, well, better questions, than Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you know, point, point to redeem yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's trash, don't worry. <laughs> but just before I even answer that, just touching on what you said there, you said you set up this podcast initially half for a selfish reason, yeah, and that was because it was your own therapy. Yeah, there's nothing selfish about self care or yeah. your own therapy. Do you know what no, I mean? I agree so, with that, yeah. so if it's something that helps yourself, there's nothing selfish about that. Um, but yeah, no, with with this one, I wasn't expecting people to meet up like this because when you're getting loads of people together, there's many different personalities, right. and I'm sure there's plenty of people that don't get along with each other. They're just not fucking saying it to me, yeah, or saying right. it to each other. But just seeing how many, even through the WhatsApp group, and like you know what's you know what resonates with me a lot when I see people that uh, go on the hikes. When I see them like an Instagram story going up and they're out with each other. 
Yeah. They're going out for food or something. Mm. Or they're going out yeah, for drinks. Yeah, that's and deadly. I'm, yeah. I think to yourself, they didn't even know each other. Yeah, you kind of help build that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's just you like, contribute it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't something. Don't yeah. Just give it a push. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's just it is. It's 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 great to see, and especially with the times that we're in now, it's great to see like completely st- complete strangers who weirdly enough would live in the same estate. I oh, know. I wouldn't even know yeah. each other. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And I just have to meet up, and now that you have like a connection now and. It's just great to see. Yeah, it's a small world, isn't it? Mm, definitely. And there's loads from around the Clondalkin, loads around like this area. You yeah. still are from Clondalkin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that, that's it's similar to me and Jay. So I obviously knew Jay from around the area. I was never talked to him. Or Someone had only sent me a picture. Someone had only started listening to the podcast the other day. Uh, a fella I used to work with, and he sent me a screenshot of the the first episode I done, not the right. intro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I met Jay in the local super value. <laughs> it was just highlighted that, and I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, that's kind of how it all kicked off for us as well. We never s- didn't speak, did we? No. It was like uh, whatever, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it, would we have been the type of? I'd probably say alright if I walked past. Yeah, look, like, we know. literally had to make eye contact or something in order to be like alright or something. Yeah. Would you, you know, stop and have? Would you? Would you stop and have a conversation? Or no. Would you just like what's no. Up? no, no, no. Right. Because only, I never, I never like I, I knew you. As probably from Sparky, were you Sparky's goalkeeper or something like that? Or he was my goalkeeping coach. Yeah, so that's probably how I knew him. So I would say, and obviously just from around the area and being in the arc, I'd probably say, "Oh, right to him." But you used to go to the arc, did you? Yeah, well, he was the there. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I I was there. That's probably what, that's probably how I know you. Yeah, I walked more. there as well, and we never even knew that. Yeah. Do you he's, know what I mean? He's probably kicked me out a few times. No, I was DJ. Oh, really? Right. He was. <laughs> I was junior barman. So. Oh, mm. right. But yeah, anyway, um, I wanted to ask you, so. Outside of the connections that you're building, right? What's the one thing you've taken from it, right? You're you're, you're bringing all these people in and you're you're helping others. You've given them a platform, basically, to kind of, you know, blow off some steam or whatever, release some stress or whatever. They go out and they, they do these hikes and they feel better. But what outside of helping others, what have you taken from it? Basically, did you get your hole off any of the boards that <laughs> came so on the not weeks? what I'm asking whatsoever. <laughs> I was waiting for that question. I was waiting for it. Yeah, it's, not, it's only going to be him that asked them anyway, so go on. <laughs> what, have I, what have I taken from it? Yeah. O- other than, like, other people Other than helped. building and building connections, like, like for yourself, for you. Just, uh, like, you know what, how, how much it helped me, and, like, because, like I said, I set it up to help other people, mm-hmm. and I completely was, I, I completely disregarded or didn't think... It was going to help you. Yeah, I just didn't think of it, and, like, to be honest with you, I was... Kind of just trying to put myself into the position of, right, you're the one that's meant to kind of keep everything mm-hmm. rolling here and you're the one that's meant to kind of help everyone if, if need be. And uh, all you it, can get lost in that, let's be honest. Yeah, man, like, you yeah. can completely forget about your own feelings or thoughts or whatever because yeah. you're trying to look after others. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, this, there's one, one of the girls that goes on the hikes, Ashlyn. She's, she's, the, like, she's one of the only ones. She'd get on to me every couple of weeks. And she'd be saying to me as well, just remember to check in with yourself and all that. Mm-hmm. Because like that that's the thing. You you start doing these videos and you you put yourself into this position. People take little snippets of your day and they assume that that's what you're like every day. Of course, yeah. And there's plenty of mornings where I don't want to even get out of bed. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So uh so when you put yourself into that position, people don't think you need the help. Mm-hmm. So when I go out on these hikes on Sundays, I mean I'm one of the people that like wouldn't I wouldn't be able to function if I didn't have the hike on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Now I think for next week, I'm going to take a break from it because it's been flat out every single week. You know we're we're I mean? starting to feel a little bit like that now as well, with aren't we, with the podcast? Because we have literally been flat out. Like, Martin got fucking scared at one stage because <laughs> the week that he coined a giant, we were flat to the mat. Right. Like, we had Do you know Friday, what we didn't Saturday, realize? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we had guests. Then we were fucking... Down the wires in the studio because fucking the lads we got in made a bleeding balls of it and shit like that. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they we said were, they're tuning in to watch as well. So yeah, you won't be bollocks. watching anymore. You won't that. be getting paid fucking five hundred <laughs> euro a day. That's for sure. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. Martin, Martin, what was that like? like? Did you just fucking say fuck this? Yeah, like you came up with the idea <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday as well. No, well, like, but he he that gave you his context. It was, it was so like it wasn't organized. It was just like you could get a text at six in the evening and be like, oh, we're down the studio. Do you know what I mean? Like so, I was saying, if there's stuff like this coming up, just have days put aside. So like, yeah. all right, lads, there's something coming up. Okay, it's Wednesday, so we're going to go Thursday sorted out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the way it was shaping up, like between the eleven month old baby at home. Working full time as well, and then 
you know, you're trying to do other things. Like Activities, I'd, football. I'd go to gym five or six days a week. I'd play football as often as I could. Yeah. And then the way that, that was shaping up, that was 20 hours on top of that. Yeah. Like, there's just not enough time and, in the week. So something had to go, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's a, that's exactly what I was saying to you, Jay. Murio, I'll be straight out with you. I said to Jay, I don't know whether Martin's the right man for the job. Mm. And this was before you'd done it. Mm. Reason being was because we had the likes of Gavin Dean on, who also had kids. Mm. And obviously, I know if I was still with my partner, and Jay, you were still with your partner, we wouldn't have as, as much time. Because no. your relationship with your partner is the most important one. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. you need to give that more time than anything else. And, and even just the functional side of it, the practical side of it. Like, yeah. Ty, Ty woke up at half four this morning. I'm awake since half four. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I had that. I, I logged into work at half eight. He went to sleep at eight. I gave him up to his mar at quarter past nine because I had a meeting. Yeah. At half eleven or twelve, I booked in. I went to the gym for an hour, got home, finished work at five, and then yeah, had this. It's, it's tough, and, so and, and long that's, days. Like, just I suppose I'll say it now the podcast, Martin, you only really need to be here once a week. Yeah. If you want to be here more, yeah. if me and Jay are coming down, like, we have more time. And that, so you don't a, need to show up every, like, do you but, know what I mean? But that's why I made the decision, because the kind of fellow I am, I'm all in or I'm out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I wreck my head thinking it's all happening and I'm not involved at all, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I just, like, just showing up at the end to record it, do you know what I mean? No, look, if I thought that, trust me, you'd be the first person to know because yeah. it happened with one of our co-host before yeah. do you know what I mean I bet <laughs> and that's not that's not being disrespectful like it's just like, he didn't you just have delete you from the group chat and then slaughter you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then you'll show up at me gaff and we'll talk about it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now man I'm happy to have you here and like that if it ever does get overwhelming or if it's ever too much or if you change your mind again 100% completely understand family forced I'm all for yeah. the family and but like I course, said to him yeah. like I, I did say this to him as well and I tried to reassure him I was like you just started at a bad week yeah. Yeah. we're normally Sunday so how we go we do uh, recording on a Sunday and then from Monday we're prepping for our, the next guest the following Sunday mm. but that's just Evernote that's taking notes down doing some research and making sure we're prepared to come next Sunday Whereas we just got overlap, didn't we, with guests? Just got like, like a machine going. Guess what? Just fucking. Tss. Yeah, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then maybe one account. Monday and right, Tuesday. Yeah, and then you've. Well. No, I'm talking about even over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, they yeah, weren't yeah, as yeah. busy as this week. Yeah. But there was some, like, where you're doing Sunday, you have Monday off, you're back in Tuesday. Yeah. And then you're prepared for Sunday again, and then something might pop up in between. Mm. Do you know what I mean? People don't really understand how much goes into a leak. Like. Yeah, it, yeah. It's because we're taking a serious <laughs> as well. We don't really need to put this much time into it, but I am very fucking particular as well. Do you know what I mean? And Jay is passionate about it. So that's where his drive comes from as well. Martin is obviously. Like he, he's creative he's coming up with ideas as well he said Tuesday and Thursdays to us which we probably need anyway but not like well, it's not a huge deal do you know what I mean yeah do you, have, do you have any goals going forward or do you have anywhere you just want to see like, do you have a, like a plan or where you just want to be in like a year or? do you want to see her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the plan is to be honest with you uh, Dylan is just to like I'm not in any mad hurry to grow Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm in it for the long run. I don't just expect overnight success. Like some there's other podcasts out there that blew up overnight. Do you know what I mean? And that's the talking bollocks, lads. I'm not I afraid to mention it. Um, <laughs> like they, they blew up pretty quick. There's other podcasts that are doing better than us. But I'll be honest with you, like I don't think they're much better than us, if even better than us. Do you know what I mean? I like my content. I like where I'm going. I think if I consistently put content out, the right people see it. It's gradually gonna grow. So I'm not in any hurry. I am happy to continue as we're going. If we're growing in five followers a week, ten, I couldn't give a bollocks. Yeah. As long as I'm meeting new people, creating relationships, like Alan would, like he's our mate now. Do you know? I'm yeah, sure like, you will be as well after this, Dylan. We 100%. have a good connection here. Yes. And it's the same with everyone. Like everyone that has come and sat in this studio has said, it's the most comfortable we've ever been in a podcast. We've gained a relationship from it. Enya Martin, Fabu D., um, Martin Eastwood for myself Martin Eastwood yourself Stone Alan City. like Alan Alan's girlfriend and all has been texting me mm. saying like you've changed his life Alan has said it personally Graham Fitzgerald's sister reached out saying we're after changing our brother's life like this I don't give a fuck about followers mm -hmm. I don't care about it Good. like this is what it's all about to me and Martin, I'm hoping now that you're starting to see as well because this is Martin's first official episode with a guest. And the, like the relationship that comes from it and just everything that... It's just... The best word to explain is magical how... Yeah. How... like The podcast has changed my life. Mm. I, I put a post about it the other day and Jay, you don't even need to say it's changed yours as well because I know it has. 
Uh, it's 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 flipped it on its head basically. Like like I said, the work that I done before this was just purely one type of person in MMA fighter. So I get the same generic responses from people and stuff, yeah. and it, it got boring. Mm. Whereas this, and like meeting different characters, different personalities, like people that I knew nothing about going in and left feeling like I know everything about them. Yeah. And I actually, not only do I feel like I know everything about them, I feel like I'd have a point with you. And yeah. there's probably a chance we're going to have a point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Every like, single guest. I was like. Every single guest we've had on, we either have met again or plan to meet again. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I like, you. it's not the end. It's literally the beginning of a, a long relationship. So, Martin, after your first episode, we're going to end it now in a few minutes. What's your take on, on a so far? Yeah, no, it's deadly. It's good. Like, what can I say? I suppose we talked about it the last time. It's, um, it is. It's class. It's, it's. And as you said, for yourself, really, I can see the therapeutic side of it. Just to get out and have a chance to chat. Mm. Organizing all this gives you a good chance to meet people that you can talk to. Like we have a guest today to speak about mental health. These are things that just aren't really in and around our yeah. our own environment because we're all yeah. beside each other where we live. So we can see how it opened doors for you. It's. Um, it's deadly, yeah, fair play to you, mm. honest to God, it's deadly. No, we're, we're obviously delighted to have Martin on board, and like I said, th- these relationships continue, Dylan, so we will 100% be doing a week. I had a chat with this awful and sassy girls before they came here saying, look, no excuses, when me go out, you go out, do you know what I mean? They are, they yeah, but look, I'll, I'll, I'll get them going. J- Jay needs to rekindle a relationship as well with that <laughs> one. <laughs> but come here, speaking of relationships, are you in one? No, I'm not. Yeah, because Sinead was telling me you were in our DMs after the episode. Yeah, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only messing. I'm only messing. She didn't say that. She didn't. She's going to kill me for mm. saying that. You know that's getting no. clipped as well, isn't it? <laughs> but come here. A few quick fire questions, right? Mm-hmm. We we kind of asked what was next. So I'm assuming like the, the camping and stuff is next, right? Yeah. So... Where was I going with quick this? Quick fire. So, so. Oh no, quick fire. No, see, <laughs> this is why I, I had me ever now open and I hate I hate taking my phone out when a guest is here because you don't know what I'm doing. Mm. But for some reason, it's fucking logged in as someone else and it's saying that I can't fucking get in. But I had qu- a few quick fire questions, Jay. So, <laughs> <laughs> come on, you're killing me here. Spot, Jay, I know, like, what, what, what do we normally say? You, I'm you trying to think here. You know this part's getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, anyway. It's not. It's not. I fucking leave. I don't give yeah, a bollock. Google quick fire questions there will you pull that up this is your Jamie moment oh stop I'm, it, I'm trying to fucking think yeah. now because we have a list of them that I ask every single guest now that I ever know it's not in front of me I'm just at that bone they always had a stink at this episode <laughs> ask me bonk I'll fuck no, off do you know what this is actually staying in it is staying in I don't give a bollocks look we'll just fucking leave at that will we yeah man <laughs> you probably have if you no you know what all you need to do is open the Evernote on the computer because right. that's, that's a sync device. Well, right, here's me pulling a blinder here and getting you your bloody notes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading currently? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Quick fire questions. The fucking Premier League sticker book. That's the only <laughs> book I ever read. Which I mean, words. you know that's There's true. Too as many well. big words in that for you, you man. <laughs> What's your favourite word? Are these, oh are these your questions? No, 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 no. That's what he just pulled them up. What's your favourite word, Dylan? <laughs> No fucking idea. That's the weirdest question ever. <laughs> Imagine asking that as a quick fire question. Shania, that's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! I have to stay in now. Jay, okay, what's your favourite word? Uh, <laughs> funny. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was as bad as my joke. Oh, my fuck! You asked me a word. I fucking said it. Funny's our favourite word. Yeah, good word. Okay. <laughs> Man, what's it's your favourite word? Here we go. Um. I don't know, lads. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Just click into any of them. Any of them. And sh- scroll down to the bottom. And there should be quick fire questions. Oh, he's going to be the fucking weirdest question, though. No, <laughs> that, that, that actually... Oh, that's, no, that's a quick... Right, hold on. Here we go, General. Um, <laughs> I don't think this quick fire didn't come, man. No, 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 man. Let, let's see. Let's see. Um, do, do, do. What course did you do to become a quick uh, cunt, man? There's <laughs> <laughs> some feet I can for you. Fast. Yeah, I don't think any of them are followers. <laughs> nah, do you know what? You had ones like fucking Keen and Kale are fucking 
Drake and Josh or something like that. Didn't now you? That, no. that was just that for, was, that that was, was just for Anya Martin. Martin. Yeah, we we need to actually come up with general like them type of questions that we ask all the guests just to to kind of add to a poll every week and see how they do or something like that. But so look, Dylan, this was the end of the quick fire questions. Thank yeah, you very thank much. <laughs> I thought I thought the questions were fantastic. <laughs> you played a blind, that Dylan. Yeah. Fair play to you, buddy. Oh, stop! <laughs> Before we let you go, Dylan, have you got any <laughs> questions for us? Just sort your fucking questions. <laughs> 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 Listen, Dylan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Give your channel yeah. a shout out there again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram page. What's yeah, it tag? Just, uh, just a wee hike page. Just all one word. Wee hike. And uh, yeah, get on to it. Everyone's more than welcome to come out and. What about your own page, Dylan? Uh, don't, oh yeah, Dylan Saunders. Yeah, what's it? Dylan. Dylan underscore Saunders zero zero. He's looking yeah. on pretending he doesn't want people to follow him. Look, uh, too no, proud he is. <laughs> too proud. Now, listen, Dylan, really enjoyed the conversation. The girls were really great bit of banter. Lovely fella doing great things. Um, huge respect for you. We'll definitely get out with you again. Um, we'll probably even bring you for a cycle with us. We know that you met up with Coach Allen. Jay is saying, yeah. no, he's bollocks to even thinking about it. Do a few, do a few uh, hills. Martin, will you be heading out with us? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> when he's gone. We don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't know. Where that's you always, we you know there, that's, that's, that's always that. That's always that answer. Just like, yeah, no, when he's going a bit, I'm busy that day. Yeah, I'm it's sick that day. the answer around here because you never get a straight one. <laughs> <laughs> the question around here. But no, we, we, we'll definitely meet up. We'll go for a cycle. I'm sure we'll fucking we'll get we'll get a hike in as well, and we'll get the Southall and Sassy girls. You can ask Sinead what the story is. I'll text her only bit. Yeah, J- Jay that, is yeah. snapping because he's into it as well. So I, did I say that? Yeah. Did I? You I said you'd bang her. Does she have a pulse? <laughs> Jay's into it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh. <laughs> My ma watches this. Wait, <laughs> hey, Dylan, pleasure. Jay, final words. Fanny. Fanny, yeah. Fanny. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. Yeah. See, see us out, brother. Three, two, one.